and we are here today uh, with Rosemary Schrager, our UK celebrity chef and my fave celebrity chef. And <laughs> she you. is going to teach us and you listeners to, my, uh, to the Undine Show how to make porridge properly with water, not with milk. So here we go. Over to you, Rosemary. Right. Well, the first thing we need to do, the best porridge is actually cooked slowly. Right. rather than quickly. So I'm going to do it on the lower part of my agar, which will always be a low okay. heat, agar, which will be a low heat on the hob, if you have a hob. Now, I have got 50 grams to you about a cup of okay. oats, porridge oats. Now, there are porridge oats and porridge oats. The one thing you have to do is get a good brand because you don't want it to be bitty and dusty, you want proper oats. So we're going to pop the porridge oats in to our, to our pan. Now, I like to use a non-stick pan because this is very important. I think that it, because it tends to stick on the bottom otherwise a bit. Right. So I like a non-stick pan. Otherwise, if you haven't, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to pop it on the oven. We're going to put about 300 millilitres of water. Now, water. Did you see water? water? Now, water, not milk. No, you cannot use milk no. in porridge. The other thing is we're going to put in is salt. So the other thing you can do with porridge is soak it overnight in water, and then put it on the cooker. Just put it on the hob, and then bring it up to heat, and then you've got a wonderful porridge. Now I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt into coarse sea salt, so it's not solid salt. It's a sort of, it's coarse, a good brand. This is molden sea salt, coarse sea salt. Yes. So this is salt. very important. Yes. Can I just ask, now you've mentioned water and salt, is porridge a diuretic? Well, it would be, wouldn't it, a little mm. bit. So, That's what I thought. Yes. I do know a little bit about porridge. Yes. I think that it's, it's you, you, one thing you mustn't do is overdo the salt. Okay. Because that's a bit of a problem. Um, now, slowly, but keep slowly. Do not always mix. Do not leave it. Just mix it. The reason why you have to do that is because... Oh! <laughs> Just a spillage. Just a spillage. I was looking at you rather than the pot. Um, the reason why you have to do that is because you're trying to get all the sort of the sort of starchy oats that's out, out of it, all the, okay. um, so it becomes a thick mass rather than just leaving. If you just let it go, it, it won't mix. Right. You want that creamy, creamy effect which you're yeah. trying to get, texture. Can I have a little stir? Yes, have a little stir. Because I'm a good stir of me. Yes. Right. Now, the other thing you've got to do is make sure that you actually cook it off. You don't just cook it and then it's done. Okay. You have to keep cooking it for a little bit longer. So you just on a low simmer, just so you sort of cook it off, if you understand what I'm okay. saying. I, yes, I do actually. Okay, good. Like a simmer type thing. Do you cook? <laughs> <laughs> actually, I have five Michelins. Five Michelins? On my car. <laughs> on your car? <laughs> on my car. No, everybody who listens to my show or who follows me knows that I don't interfere with cookers. And this one is very hot, I have to say. It's very hot indeed. <laughs> it is, it's on full blast. Now I know why I don't cook. Especially for you, it's on full blast. <laughs> okay, now can now, you feel it getting thicker? I can. Right, okay, yeah, so well, you just have to go like that. Oh. Alright, rather than stir, just go backwards and forwards. That's it. That's nice and dainty. That is nice, and, nice dainty. and dainty. Just keep going with it. Keep going. There we go. That's right, just and keep going. And how long do we do this for, did you say, Rosemary? Oh, it's going to really thicken up a bit for about sort of four minutes. Four just minutes. keep going. Have we got one we prepared earlier, do you think? We do not. <laughs> <laughs> we so do not. we have to watch it for four I'll minutes. I'll tell you what I will do. While you're just doing that, I'm going to get a bowl out. Yeah. No. This looks lovely, this porridge made with water. It, it's delicious. And the other thing is, it's so good for you. And you know, it's slow burning. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. It's a slow burning product. So it would keep you, sort of for the whole morning, just sort of ready, burning it off, slowly coming in. It's great breakfast. It's a yeah. wonderful... I am bringing my, my breakfast book out. Your breakfast book. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yes, I, I have to say that. that. Breakfast book. The Yorkshire breakfast book is coming out. It's coming out um, in October. So, 
You must put it on your website. Right, no worries. Now, can yes. you feel it getting thicker? I now, can. Listen, get to the sides, would you? Just yeah. get to the sides. That's there it. So that's perfect. Now, keep going. Now, now, it's not quite cooked yet. No, we're nearly ready. Isn't that delicious? Not Isn't perfect. it? Yes. Isn't that the most perfect porridge? And I haven't spilled it. No, perfect. Mm. Sorry, I did the spilling. Mm. Don't worry, I did the spilling. That is gorgeous. Now that. Now, because oh, we're, we're starting just, to burn. Yeah, no, we're not burning at <laughs> oh, all. Right. Not at all. Oh, no. Because it's on quite a low heat. Right, okay. that is, for me, look at the texture of that. That's a perfect porridge. There you go. Made now, with water. Made perfect with water. Porridge. Now, what I'm going to do, rather than stand here for a few minutes, because it is, I shall clean that later. I shall just pull this in for you. Now, this is a healthy portion, but it's one portion. So 50 grams or a cup, and that should, that I uh, will actually keep you going for the whole day if you wanted it to. Yeah. Right, would you like a taste? Um, when it cools. <laughs> when, it cools. <laughs> when it cools? When it cools. Why well, you can blow on it? All right. You can blow on it. Wait a minute. There we go. Um, shall we just show them? Yes, we shall. There you go. Can we zoom in on that beautiful bowl of porridge made with water? Yeah. Okay. Now the quantity, it's very, now can I, before you do that, mm -hmm. will you just show them the texture of it? Because so many people either make it too runny or too soft. Now you see, look at that. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Now you can put some honey in it if you want, which is healthy. Yeah. A little squirt of honey. I'll tell you what, we yeah, can we do that if you want. Hang on, let's do that. Up, yeah. Take a taste first. <laughs> now. I'll have to go to the edge. Already? <laughs> Come on. Mmm. Oh, lovely. It's lovely. You now, can taste the salt. Yeah, we're now going to take that. Yes, it's quite, quite. Uh, I'll no. put some more of that. Yes, now. So it cools. That is a lovely breakfast. Mmm, delicious. Isn't that delicious? Mm. Now you don't have to put quite so much salt in. Mm. Some people like it salty, some people don't. Just do it to taste in the end of the day. But you need to put enough in to make it really tasty and really lovely. Otherwise, if you don't put salt in, it doesn't taste mm. so good. Right. So with salt, but with this, with this um, honey going in as well, this is the most healthy, healthy breakfast. And you can even put some yogurt on top. How delicious is that? You can do anything. I love porridge. You should start the day off with a bowl of porridge. And that's our top chef talking. <laughs> Listen to her. <laughs> well, we have to say thank you to Rosemary Schrager for showing us how to make porridge. So thank you, Rosemary. It's a pleasure. But there's one more thing. What is we that? have to give her the crown. Oh, what's Where the is crown? It? Where is the crown? And I'm now going to give Rosemary my crown because she is queen of the chefs. Oh, wow! <laughs> I didn't know I was getting a crown. That is my crown. Is that fresh? I am now the princess. Rosemary is the queen. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs>